Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pamera tribe. And we are here staring at the children of the claw. So, <laughs> I am feeling so much better today about the future of our tribe. Thank you guys so much for your patience. I think that we really are just going to shoot for the jungle, take our strong creatures, and cross our paws that somehow we have done the right things, and we will hopefully have enough strength to be able to survive in the jungle at least long enough to initiate plan B, code run away. So I think we'll be okay, and we actually have bred up quite a few useful creatures, like our brand new deer that we have with Mamimi here. She can actually move four movement at a time, which is really great. She has pretty good collecting. She has a teensy bit of strength, so she can take out any bunnies that she can pounce on top of. And there's a potential mate with her with Kanar, who also has a distasteful appearance, and he has a ton of stealth too. So hopefully these guys will have beautiful deer children, and they'll be able to run for the hills, and they'll be able to make sure that their kids can be safe. And we can also... Oh no, Kanar! There we go. And we can also hopefully uh, keep them safe by having some good defenders. So we've got everyone from Isrico, who really impresses me because she has uh, that beautiful spiky body. She's also got ram horns. She's pretty healthy. She has a distasteful appearance. Hopefully all of those things will keep her safe from the predators. But I'm pretty excited because we've got Kier Duke Duke over here. And I think I want to name him Scar. So his name is going to be Scar with two R's. And that's because I have big hopes for him that he can leave a scar of destruction upon any predator who tries to mess with the Pomera tribe. And that's because he's got both a spiky body and he has claw and he has ram horns and he has poison fangs. I could just kiss him. I could kiss him if he wasn't a spiky little hedgehog. That's probably like kissing a cactus. But he's not the strongest that he could be but it's better than nothing, and at least it could possibly do some damage to predators and other things that will lurk around trying to attack our tribe members. So I have started to kind of move a few of the creatures around. We will be taking mostly our defenders, and then we'll be taking our plan B group, uh, who is also going to include uh, people like Rovan Vaughn, who has six movement. So at the very least, Rovan Vaughn will be able to zip around in literal loops and circles on the island while everybody else like is busy attacking apes or running for their lives from predators so i've got high hopes i'm still a little disappointed that our first group wasn't able to make it but especially after reading some of your guys horror story comments about what happened to you guys in the jungle pretty sure we would have just like completely died so let's go ahead and we are going to see what's going to happen next time wonderful apparently we had a couple mutations that time so let's see all right another claw over here with new von duke not sure if we want to take him with us he does have big nose normal body he's pretty healthy we might consider taking him and then somebody else right over here hello the Creo now has a claw as well so hmm might consider it he does have lean body but he doesn't have any kind of pattern and that really counts against you when you are trying to survive in the jungle apparently so oh and then what do we have down here no why all right i'm gonna name him caramel uh or because i don't know his name i just lost his name it's so hard when their names like get lost while you're doing wazda but anyway we're going to have rovan von come over and i think he's going to work on clearing oh there's a little bit of food over here who the heck another rogue male no honestly you didn't need this in your life. Jagar is going to be so mad. That's his daughter. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was that was unexpected. At least we just found a nest. Oh my goodness. So what we're trying to do is those who I'm pretty sure we are not going to take. I am scurrying away and tucking into the corner so they can work on gathering up food. Um, Mamimi is going. So I'll start sending her over towards where the jungle is at. So she can head that way. And then Kanar is going. He is actually our new high prince. So I'm going to give him the proper title, I Kanar. I'm sorry that the uh, social structure of our tribe that is normally strictly in place has currently completely fallen apart. And that is just because we're so busy trying just to like scurry around and make sure we have a few more defensive genetics. Lasiri is a beautiful, beautiful female. Oh, no, you don't. Get out of here, mister. You know what? You've got you've got all my all my creatures pretty mad at you right now. Oh look, there's like a couple little trees that fell down over here. That's awesome. And then let's see. Caramel is super awesome, but I don't think he is quite the baby we're looking for. And then did I have a male down here? Who just is he still did he die? Where did he go? Interesting. 
And what does this little baby have? A Lorani. Why is nobody being born with fluffy tails? I guess fluffy tails must be recessive for some reason. We have a lot of black antlers that I'm not even exactly sure. Reloka, are those all your children? There's a lot of black antlers all of a sudden. I just finally look up from the chaos of what we've been busy, busy doing with breeding. And suddenly we have tons and tons of creatures who have black antlers. Oh, look, you can smell the healing plants now. That is so cool. All right, we should be okay. Let's scooch everybody around. We'll have Koasani step in here. Um, let's see, Iluvon is getting very old. Thankfully, he survived that attack from the predators. Uh, Nukoko was one of our firstborn children on this island. Uh, Kori, she has runner's leg and velvet paw. She has normal body, immunity H and G, fluffy tail, a lot of really great traits. We're lucky that we've been able to breed so randomly like we have and everything has been okay. Uh, is Rico, let's go ahead and start sending her off towards the other side. Same with Kirnu. And then where's our little attacker? Scar is gonna head over there in a minute too. Duke Vaughn has double nimble fingers and normal body and hemophilia so he won't be going anywhere oh and he's got web legs too oh no he might be going to join his sister in a little bit uh let's see hmm why are all of our children not being born with fluffy tails they must be really recessive if we haven't been able to end up with them that that quickly all right let's see there's a lot of bunnies there's quite a bit of food if i just start sending some of our creatures to go get it um, with three collecting, four stealth, yeah, I think I could just drive myself mad, like even madder than mad to the point where things aren't really fun anymore <laughs> if I focus on trying to get the absolute most perfect genetics ever. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to try my best to have some healthy, happy babies <laughs> and we'll just see where we go from there. We do have Ravanku, but he only has two movement, uh, even if he has double Velvet Paw. And I think it would be too dangerous to take a creature that moves that slowly to the jungle. So we won't take anybody with less than a, quite a few movement. Like this guy right here, we may consider taking uh, Rukuro because he has really good movement. And he does have ram horns, nimble fingers, normal snout instead of big nose though. But he moves so quick, no! No! Get away! I don't need any more rogue males. <laughs> There's a lot of rogue males here. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's see. Nukir, why don't you come over? Try having one more baby. No wonder we're ending up with so many black ram horns. We've got double black ram horn uh, creatures having tons of babies. Sissy needs to get out of the nest so her baby can grow up. Uh, Larimi is going to be staying because she has hemophilia. So we'll put her to work clearing out grasses and hopefully gathering up materials. Cory, I'm tempted to kind of send Cory actually. She has velvet paw. So I'm going to I'm going to see. We'll start sending Cory that way. I'm so sorry we're not spending as long as we normally do trying to decide like who to send and what babies to, to like carefully carefully breed up. Like Lice will probably keep because she has normal patterning. She doesn't have uh, the ability to really stay very well hidden if we sent her off to the jungle. Even though she does have that beautiful spiky body and that claw which are really cool. Let's see. This little guy. Now he could probably go. I like it. Yeah, he could probably go just fine. Because he's got lean body, runner's leg. Yeah, buddy, look at you. Radukvan. We're going to go ahead and send you over, buddy. All right. Everybody is going to go get travel names once they get over to the port, too. Holy moly, how many babies did I just have? Like, a lot of babies. Oh, see, and this is why we need to have really good defenders. All right, let's give little Lice uh, an opportunity to try her skills. And then let's come up and I move on. Come on, buddy. This is why we need- This totally makes me feel better about the defenders that we just brought in. Because look at this chaos. I'm not able to defend my creatures against one predator. One predator. Because, because we need stronger attack than just two attack. And one attack. 
Oh my gosh. And like Lice did the most damage with four attack. And Larimi could come over here and do some pretty good damage. I'm tempted to take Larimi, except she has hemophilia. So probably not a good idea. Yeah, I feel a lot better about this now. Okay, we're doing good, guys. I'm just going to gather up what resources we can before we send over the other group. Let's see what kind of babies we just had. We had quite a few. Normal pattern, probably not safe to send. Raimi who has a big body so she's probably going to be pretty slow and she doesn't have any claws or anything to defend herself so it would probably be a little bit cruel to send her Lakomi, who unfortunately has doubled up immunity genes so probably don't want to send her down here we have Issy and let's see what Issy's skills are she does have fluffy tail lean body she has hind leg. I think Issy can go because she's going to be really fast once she gets out of here. And she has a lot of the traits that we're really looking for. And then over here, Lala. Oh, that's so sweet. Milako had another Lala. So another Lala born to remember the the sister of Is Isla. Uh, I is Lala, who we had to leave behind. So she's here too. Okay, good. I feel pretty confident with the little, the little group we've got. And there's another rogues child. Oh my goodness. Did you at least bring in some interesting genes? Some purple eyes, short-sighted, blind. Oh dear. Well, let's keep moving the rest of the group along. I'm gonna just kind of peel away some of this grass so that we can get through here a little bit quicker. And then look at that. Oh my gosh, Rakuro, that is awesome. I love seeing the movement on these guys. And actually, we won't want to clear away the grass uh, on the jungle island itself. Oh, this is so awesome. They're just going so quick. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. Good job, guys. All right, is Rico? She's gonna go too. This is awesome. Being able, look at them. They really are the best of the best. The best of us. The best of us. Kiranu, we're gonna bring you down over here too. How many are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll have to like triple check to make sure that I'm not leaving behind anybody who we'd really want to be able to send over. But this is pretty awesome. All right, Nukiro, you can go ahead and clear away some of these grasses. Need to make sure I'm not like leaving behind. I think a little Issy down here and maybe Scar. Yeah, Scar is going because he's one of the, the best fighters that we've got yet. All right, Rukonu. But otherwise, we kind of ended up with this really funny, <laughs> this really funny huge tribe that's mostly built around being a bunch of stranded creatures who didn't expect to be here. Jagar, can you have any more like last minute children with somebody? Maybe Cory here who could possibly go to the next island. Cory, you go ahead and step in. Try having a child with Jagar because I love Jagar. I'm really, I think one of the things that upset me the most is that I wasn't able to send Jagar to the next island. And I truly, from the bottom of my heart, wanted that to happen. He's gonna stay here and watch over his children. It's his new throne. I really dreamed about seeing him at the jungle. And the fact I wasn't able to send him to the jungle, just really, oh, and then see him just like be prosperous and happy there. Man, that got to me. I really wanted that for him, and I couldn't have that for him. <laughs> so, yeah, that definitely did get to me. All right, and then who could I breed you with, sissy, as a last-minute thing? I think maybe him. And then we're going to scooch. No, the baby is undefended. All right, we'll send the baby baby watcher down here. Let's see. And I guess Koasani has probably had enough children now. So we'll have her help collect up some material. And I, Isla, will go ahead and watch over everyone. All right. So, yep, we've got this new group getting ready. See, and little Duke Vaughn can't really do anything, but we'll send him towards a berry bush. Maybe he can help out there. We have this new group who is ready. And Issy will go with Scar to head to the jungle and probably will do a better job of surviving there than we were giving them we were giving them credit for and we were giving them a chance for so this is probably a good thing all right Kokoro we'll send her over here to maybe help out with the fight or go under this tree and this is pretty awesome I'm actually I'm actually feeling a lot better about this. We still have some creatures, like the fact that Kuduku here has a uh, plane patterning who aren't perfect, but it won't ever be perfect. And the biggest point of it is to try to just make it fun. All right, some of our creatures passed away, mostly from old age, I think. And then Lice goes and proves how amazing having a strong predator who can, or a strong predator fighter, defender can be. So she just came in, 
one one swipe of her claw. I think little baby Vankir here now like hero worships her forever and wants to figure out how she did that and learn from her the ways of the fighter. And Kokora can go ahead and work on clearing away these grasses to restore the materials that we took to spend the time on this island. All right. It really was kind of like this was family Robinson just got stranded and all oh, the babies. Babies are undefended. Scooch, scooch, get back on that nest. <laughs> Take care of the babies. Okay, Nuduku, Nudukvan. I need to make sure, do any of you have immunity D? Hey, this rogue male. Yeah, no, no, buddy. If you so help me, if you get too close, I am going to be attacking the ridiculous levels out of you. Can I reach him? Attack him! Why can't I attack him? Do you not have any attack, Ikunar? Ikunar, why? How did I end up with a male who can't... How did I end up with a high prince who can't do any attack? This guy's trying to go to the jungle with us and it's not happening, buddy. Uh-uh. There we go. And we managed to poison him that time. So we should be able to defend our females. Because uh, I do not want to have them end up with an unexpected baby. <laughs> right before we end up leaving for the next island. That's not how this works. The whole tribe, like all of the tribe's males are just appearing out of nowhere. But that's the kind of defensive mentality they're going to need to have in order to survive the next island. So I gotta watch out with my females for just a minute. But at least we're finding a little bit of food. Yeah, no, buddy. You don't get to come near my females. They're all keeping an eye on you. All right. So do any of you guys have immunity D? I feel so silly because I, I, yep, yep, yep. I see immunity D. I preened and, and worked so hard on our genetics before. And now I'm just like, I'm just chucking babies and tossing them straight towards, straight towards where hopefully they'll be semi-useful in the island. But I think that's okay. All right, Is Izzy, where are you, Izzy? Um, you need to grow up, my little one. Don't drown, please. I didn't mean to just like drop you in there. Lakomi, you're so beautiful. I love her spotted pattern, but she is a weak little thing. And we have a few illnesses going on in the background here. Let's go ahead and clear away some of the grass. I heard that. You're a dead man. You know that? You're such a dead man. Well, who knows? We'll have to see. Mamimi is now pregnant. I should have like tried to get her pregnant before that happened, but I wasn't expecting it. All right, we'll go ahead, collect up some nuts from over here. I think that this is a very proud son. Kirtha is going to make a good High Prince replacement for Jagar. So I think Jagar is quite proud of his son. <gasps> wow, she's so pretty. Masili, normal body and runner's leg. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. If only you didn't have short-sighted eyes and hemophilia. You are gorgeous. I would consider sending you. All right, we'll send this little guy up here. And Nudukvan, you can go ahead and come this way to help me with utterly destroying and getting rid of the other group. And I think I'm gonna let Ricola go ahead and pass away of old age right there. Uh, Lariana. Hmm. She has really good movement. She has green eyes. She has immunity A and H, which may be good to take. I'll send her that direction just because that movement is so smooth that it may be worth it. It may be worth it. All right. I'm going to get you gather up some berries. And you guys need to make a little bit of headway. So we are going to need to keep a very sharp eye out looking out you guys for all of the trouble that rogue males can possibly bring to the next island they are not something that we really want to run into too much um caramel you are so gorgeous i wish i could take you but unfortunately you just have genetics that would get you eaten alive quite literally all right let's try again who do we have here uh we have nurota who's gorgeous gorgeous um and unfortunately he has big body which when it doesn't have any kind of defensive uh, like uh, offensive abilities no claws to go with it probably would just be a liability uh is he oh thank goodness she can really she can really hoof it all right we might be able to do something there and then i can go ahead and have these guys settle in i might start assigning my females some mates so let's scooch you over here uh, I don't have that many females, so maybe I do need to send some females 
uh, is Rico. I'll go ahead and breed as Rico with somebody really quickly. Somebody with claws. Maybe Kiernu. Or maybe Scarf. Scar can get over here pretty quickly. But probably better to breed her with Kiernu now. <laughs> because I'm a little worried about that rogue male who's lurking. So, alright, come here, Kiernu. Gonna scooch him over here, her over here. And just make sure that there's some babies on the way. Look at that. We can collect up some clams while we wait to make sure that we gather up some food. Yeah, I think this group will do pretty good. And I think that they'll be very satisfied if they're just able to, like, beat up that, that rogue male and get rid of him. They're learning, normally we're never that aggressive, but they're learning to really rely on one another. And they're learning to really be a little bit more... A little bit more on the offensive than we've ever been before. Alright, this little guy can come over. Maybe he can help out with lighting the area up. No? Alright, what about over here? There we go. And that's so that Scar and uh, maybe Lariana, because we do need to make sure. Okay, come here, Scar. And we'll get these guys over here. Alright, there we go. Sorry, guys, I'm just so focused. I'm like, this is finally happening. This is finally happening. Where did Issy go? Is she up here? There she is. All right, so I think we've got a good group. We just have to get the last couple babies up there, and that's going to happen today. And then we're going to send them over, and then we're finally going to be at a jungle. <laughs> and I can finally, finally, finally have a little bit of uh, mental happiness, peace, relief. We can go ahead and we'll start destroying a few of the old bushes, or the old bushes and the old berries that we don't need so that we can... Oh, that are the old berry bushes and we'll start destroying some of the old nests that we don't need so that we can send on all of the material i still think it's so sad that jagar oh no we're wounded i didn't know it i'm so sorry sweetie i still think that it's so sad that jagar never got to go to the jungle like i truly wanted to take him to ah <sighs> oh, you jerk and i'm gonna be very 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 on the offensive against rogue males from now on because they have earned a place of utter hostility from me. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, he's just getting all of them pregnant. This is so sad. All right, let's scooch you over there. Lakomi is beautiful and lovely. I think that she can go ahead and live out a calm little life under the tree here. You can work on picking berries over there. Nurota only you didn't have that big body. That truly is a drawback for him. But alright. And we'll go ahead and clear this away. I feel so odd. I normally never move so quickly. And I always build up stories and focus on stuff like that. But I just feel this driving urge. Oh, sissy, I'm gonna miss you and your rapid movement ability. It is very nice. But I just feel this huge driving urge to like hurry, hurry, hurry and collect things. I just feel like We've got to go, we've got to go, we've got to get to the jungle. And I've never really felt that before. But I know that the new update is coming. And it is just the one thing I have wanted with the Pamera tribe for so long. Also, thank you guys for the awesome support on the idea that we will probably, for uh, future tribes where we, we have a limited time because updates are going to be coming out and we'll be moving on to testing the updates, keeping a cap on the population. And I think that's really, really, really going to help us in the future. Right now it's all over the place because our little group of creatures expanded into this big group of creatures. There we go. But our little group of creatures expanded into that giant mass of creatures for the sake of being able to have tons of babies and see if they would be, let's see. All right, there we go. And see if they would be like good enough to take with us. So now we have an overabundance, you guys. Get out of here. Ha, that's right. Milako managed to defend herself against that rogue male that time. But we have an overabundance of creatures to take. So let's take just a second to kind of slow down and look over who we want. We have Scar over here who has five attack, which is fantastic. I think we may leave Kir Dooku because he is the only one that has no pattern. And he has some collecting, nimble, fing nimble finger. He's really fast, but so are a lot of our other creatures. They're a little bit faster. I don't think he has any particular trait. Yeah, he has hemophilia. What are you doing? Get out of here, buddy. You sneak. Sneaking in there like that. So we'll leave him. And we will put Scar in here. And we will put Lariana in here. Was that the plan? Probably. Lariana, should I take you? Yeah, she's healthy. 
So we'll take little Ariana as well, and we just need to get Issy into the big pile, and then we will move on. So that's working out quite well. Let's make sure, how many females do I have then? One, two, three, four females. So that provides a little bit more balance on the females. I know Immunity D is in there. I know H is hiding in here somewhere. I see A, I see a lot of C. There's H right there, H right there. There's C right there. Oh, you're the one who had D. Dang it, and so we're gonna end up having to leave Immunity D behind after all of that hard work. But I, we're just gonna have to do what we have to do. Ah. Next time I will remember, don't make it perfect, Siri. Just roll with it. Just roll with the punches, have fun, and just see what our tribe get up, gets up to because it's quite chaotic and quite awesome. And it's just very tricky because niche is a little bit of a strategy game, but there is a lot more luck than a lot of people seem to credit with it uh, in the series. And so it can kind of go back and forth. Oh, Masila. I want to take her so bad. Isn't she just so pretty? But which female would I trade her out with? <laughs> Maybe Lariana? Like, let's compare Lariana and Masila. But Masila would take a little while to get over there. But she has distasteful appearance. Hmm. Can she feed him? Okay, you know what? She is the beautiful high princess. She's gorgeous. I love her. I mean, I really love her. I will make a, I've already made so many exceptions. I will make one more exception and like go ahead and take her. Oh, sweet. Managed to get a whole fish. All right, we'll go up here, get this bunny, go ahead and eat. Like, look, look how weak we are, you guys. It just hit me. We're so weak that the vast majority of our creatures are not even capable of being able to cut down berry bushes. That's how weak they are. Clearly, we would not do very well surviving on the jungle if we had stayed at that level of, of weakness. So I'm pretty glad that we have taken the time. But man, I, I am a little sorry for Jar. That's okay. That's okay. His children's children will go. And he, they will expand across the jungle. And they probably will have a much better chance at survival than what they did. Alright, there's that. And these little guys can collect up some food down here. We can cover some of this ground. Look at Nunu here. I mean, look at that movement. That's awesome. All right, so that's that group. We've got a little bit of food we can collect down here. Let's wiggle this guy over here. Whew. Yay, all right. Much better, much better. Jigar, I am so proud of you. You've done so good. He, he really has brought a more gentle nature to the usually ferocious tribe family that we have too. All right, and let's get Masila over. I am so going to be going to the next island. And I think we are trading out Lariana, aren't we? Lariana, Masila? Yes, we are. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm going to get this little one over here and she can collect up that clam. And then almost there. So Masila, I think she should be able to make it like next turn, she should be able to jump onto the spot. So that would be awesome. And actually, I wonder. Okay, this is terrible. We're, we're gonna have Isriko go ahead and have that baby that we don't want. And she can leave it in the care of her family and we can run to the next island without, without the burden of a baby already to take care of who would actually have bad genetics and everything. So we have become a lot more ruthless, but that's because we are short on time. We can only, we only have so much time to be able to really establish ourselves. I mean, look at them, they're too weak to even, there! Finally, finally a creature with enough strength to be able to cut down these berry bushes. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We, we have to at least, if you aren't gonna be tough enough to be able to take out a berry bush, you probably don't have any business living in the jungle, now that I think about it. That's probably a bad combination. All right, let's go ahead. On Isla, oh, the old, the first generation is all passing away. And it's all just happening so fast because their life just was so unexpected with all of the twists and turns that came down. Taking care of the, the new island they found themselves on unexpectedly and like the birth of more melanistic creatures. Thankfully, the melanistic creatures didn't seem to take over. Everybody was really worried about like those genetics just completely destroying what we had. But it actually, uh, actually turned out okay. All right, and Larry, can you go and get that bunny, maybe? Oh, there we go, bunny came to us. All right, I mean, look, yeah, still not strong enough. 
still not strong enough to be able to take out a single berry bush. So <laughs> that may have actually ended very, very awkwardly for us if we had kept trying to go with the, the strength of creatures that we currently had. All right, Jigar. I think we can do this, buddy. I think we can finally wiggle on, especially now that we're going to be taking Masila because she's absolutely gorgeous. Oh! That was a different creature than I thought we were going to have. Sila! Oh my! Oh my! She's actually a lot stronger. You're your mother's daughter, alright. But, um... So, you're the one pregnant with the baby that we don't want to take. And now I want to take Sila instead! <laughs> but Sila's an infant! Would that be very smart? Is Rico can already have babies. But Sila already has more of the skills that we want, and she's stronger than her mother. Gosh darn it! And Mimimi needs to have that baby that we don't want to have. Oh my goodness, there's so many twists in this tree. Like, every time we're ready to go, some new, new thing happens and convinces me that we need to, like, wait and, like, have some of our creatures become pregnant. Oh my gosh, all right. Let's cut down as many berry bushes as we can before we go. I can't believe we used up so many of our resources on this pit stop. All right, but thankfully we've started to restore a lot of them too. So that makes me feel a little bit better about it. There we go. And we did have quite a few unexpected babies and we did add to the family tree in very interesting ways. Do we have any more berry bushes I can cut down? I have my berry bush, my, ver my berry bush claw chopper. There we go. And we'll see what else we can collect. There's a mole who ran for it. And there's the Kami, so she can help out too. Digging up all of those pieces. Yeah, yep, most of our creatures can't even attack a berry bush, so. But you guys have heard me say that before. Okay, so, oh, there's another bunny. They're all running to us at least. And we can wiggle this way. Doesn't look like the fish are quite as active on this side of things. All right, pull down all of this grass. Uh, we will teach this predator to think twice about who it just messed with. That was totally worth it. Two creatures managed to take that predator out just right like that. And once again, Von Kier has admired the super strong creatures who happen to be in our tribe. And if their strength is any indication, we will probably be much happier with how we will be able to survive on the next island. I just want to take the baby now, Sila, instead of her mom because she's already stronger. All right, and anybody else? Nope, Kirta is clearly going to be taking over for his father. So Jagar is probably pr quite proud of his son and he is actually about to pass away of old age. So it is a good time to leave my handsome prince. I am going to miss him a lot. All right, Whew. and now I just have to gently scooch that baby. Yep, left behind the spit snout child who we don't want to take with us. All right, and we're going to move her over here. We're going to move Sila the baby onto the tile and we're taking the baby with us. <laughs> we're going to destroy these nests to reclaim material. We're going to destroy this grass to claim any of the nesting material that it may create. Let's see. Going to gather up these berries in case they happen to help us. We're going to come over this direction and eat these bunnies. The prince has passed away, unfortunately. That is very sad. He never had the proper title of prince either, so I will be sure to bestow that upon his, his grandchildren. And we'll wiggle over here to take care of that. And in fact, I will actually name Kirtha, Ki Kirtha, and he is going to stay here. And they have learned the value of recycling nest um, after everything that they have been through. And he is gonna stay over here and just take care of his family. We've got a big extended family now will be able to watch over everyone and hopefully add some more resources and keep our creatures alive on the next island. So we almost restored our resources to what they were before we came here, which makes me pretty happy. All right, can I get this? Oh my gosh, she doesn't have any attack. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lakomi, you're beautiful, but you didn't have any attack, really? All right, let's see. Anything else? I just will be a little annoyed if I like don't bother to try to collect up a little bit of the resources that are left. And then the Rami, 
center down there so I can pretend she was headed for that. Pretend I could, she was headed for that medical plant. Yeah, we did pretty good, actually. This tribe was really, I wasn't holding back and was really just breed, breed, breed. Focus, 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 work, work, work. Uh, they worked on food, they worked on defense. They did well. And now, <laughs> now we're going to see if we can actually get to the jungle. So you guys ready? We have Ki Kunar, and he is going to be our new high prince, and he is going to lead us across to the new land. We are bringing with us a lot of defenders. Everybody this time has spots, stripes, and dots. We have some fluffy tails mixed in with a lot of unexpected fishing tails, and I'm hoping we actually go to the jungle this time. So goodbye, goodbye the rest of my amazingly awesome and beautiful tribe. I'm really glad we had our little Swiss Family Robinson event over here. It was quite unexpected, but it had a lot of a, had a lot of nice twists and turns. I, I have to admit, it really did. And now let's step onto the new platform. And I'm going to really close my eyes and cross my fingers that the trickster god Tata was not watching us. And hopefully everybody made it. Is the baby here? I don't see the baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, is the baby here? She's right there. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, you guys. And let's step back. And... <gasps> We're here! We're here! We're actually here! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're probably all gonna die. But hey, look, it's 777 food. I think that means like a lucky number for all I know. Oh my goodness. We're actually in the jungle. Where are the tops of the trees? <gasps> look at them! The trees! The trees! We're in a jungle. Okay, you guys, we finally made it to the jungle. And now the question is, but will we survive? I have no idea. I'm so nervous and we're gonna have to see what happens next, you guys. I don't hear or see or smell anything just yet. There's a tree that we can maybe try to wiggle over to gather up some food. And we're really gonna have to cross our paws. And if worst comes to worst, at least the Pomeras can run for it through this portal. But if we would even survive long enough to do that remains to be seen. So finally, after way too long, we have gotten here and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.